Nothing comforts me more than a delicious hamburger with a really creamy gravy on a rainy day. So today we're gonna make chicken sopas. Halabo. No, today we're gonna make a delicious burger. And I have a very special guest with me. Not the very, oh, eh. just a guest with me. She's gonna help me make this recipe from our grandmother's cookbook. Ladies and gentlemen, none other than my sister. Ava, come on in. Thank you. Thank you for that very basic introduction. I'm very flattered that you invited me here today. Why did you dance? The director told you to dance coming in. Is it for real? Yeah, it's for real. Go. <laughs> okay, that's it. We have the okay. same dance moves, pa. All right, so do you know what we're cooking? Yes, we're doing a mushroom burger steak. No, it's called delicious hamburger. Okay, but we're adding a gravy sauce to it, right? And we're going to be using the Maya all-purpose flour yes. to make the gravy delicious. So the first step here in Lana Nara's cookbook is combine milk and bread cubes in a small bowl. What kind of milk is that? Evaporated or full cream? All right, so you have to tear it into like one half inch cubes. What are we going to use this for first? This is actually like extenders. If your meat isn't, how do you say, juicy enough or has enough fats or flavorful or if yeah. it's not really the best cut, you put this. So you just have to let end. this soak and the bread softens and it gets better. Okay, so once the extender preparation is done, we're gonna add all the ingredients into the meat. Okay. Mustard. Make sure it's yellow mustard, not Dijon. Yes. And then obviously salt, pepper, Worcestershire sauce. I don't know how to say, <laughs> say that. Say it again. Worcestershire. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. I, this is my favorite sauce, so I really not to say it. I've practiced Worcestershire? It. Worcestershire. Masai, you won't get laughing. it. You will not what get it. What is it? Worcestershire. Worcestershire? So we're both wrong. <laughs> yeah, but Hon this is my favorite sauce. <laughs> Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Okay, let's just say the W sauce. And then liquid seasoning. Ayan ayan. Yeah, right? Now, so this is basically giving flavor to the beef. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna add the extenders after. Yeah. Okay, and don't forget we have to add the binding agent. Yes! <laughs> I learned that. Um, a nice, beautiful egg. My sister Ava. When she was really young, she put up this business. It was called Bagatini. Yes, shout out. Yeah, and it was really successful. She was making sandwiches, and Lolanor was giving you tips on how yeah. to create the sauce, I remember. So the sandwiches, it was like, for example, a double flake sandwich with pesto cream sauce. Yeah. So the thing is, growing up, I was really the favorite of my Lola. <laughs> so I really learned a lot of um, cooking tips from her because my sister was just kind of like, I don't know. She wasn't as fond of the kitchen. And you, you're, Six like years. I said, you're really good at delegating and coming up with really good food. I'm the brain behind it. Exactly. And then I get Ava to cook it. Exactly. But recently, since Which I've I been need. in the kitchen more in the last couple of years, also living alone, yeah. I've had to cook. So next step is making the gravy. Three tablespoons of butter. So melt it on a pan. Yes. And we're going to be sauteing it with... People sometimes use canned mushrooms, but today we're going to be using fresh mushrooms. Okay, I'm gonna start forming these burger patties. Um, a small tip, you guys can put a bit of oil in your hand so that it doesn't stick. This is very like makeup prep. Over here. <laughs> Over here. So it's just round. This is also weirdly satisfying. Okay. Once the mushrooms are semi-cooked, I'm gonna add the Maya all-purpose flour. That looks good. Okay, my turn. I'm gonna um, pour in this chicken broth and... Okay. Ooh. Keep keep whisking it so that it incorporates very well. Ava is so like into it. Used to the kitchen. Move over now. <laughs> go go go! I'm, I'm impressed. Kidding. I'm impressed. Now we're gonna add the liquid seasoning. And this Yum. really makes the flavor bolder. And then the pepper. I feel like a burger steak recipe needs to be peppery. No? Yeah, I agree. This smells and looks like it's ready. So you can see the texture here is a bit thicker. Okay. Now let's put the burger patties in. Go. And then I'll kind of smash Flatten it. it. You want you like it thin, ba? I do. Here, go, go, go. Karen, I'd like a thin burger steak. Okay, same. Try to fit it all in. Okay, let it crust first. Yeah. Now, once it's done, you're gonna see it's kind of brown on the outside, and this technique just cooks it through, right? Yeah, so you cover it with a, a lid to help keep the moisture in. 
and kind of cook it faster. You know, this is such a simple recipe. If you look it at the, actually. on the book, it's one, two, three steps. Yeah. Done. I'm so proud. Moment of truth. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of us. It's so good. Sama? <laughs> no, it's so good. This is so yummy with rice. It's so delicious and I was gonna say well balanced, but it's very peppery because we added a lot of pepper, but I like it because it's an expected flavor in a burger steak. I love it. It's super comforting and like you said, nostalgic. It's such a good recipe. I love it. And of course, thank you to Maya for their all-purpose flour. Thank you guys for watching the recipe until the end. For those of you who dropped out, it's your loss. Thanks, Ava, for being here and catch our other episodes of Cooking with My Lola presented by Maya.